He has some great hands over there, that Kyle Kumo. Yeah. Definitely. Ellen Ellenville's really got a tough job here to keep him out this close. Yeah, that, the secondary has to start picking it up because it looks like all the big yards are coming through the air. Ten and a half minutes. Ellenville for now has a one-point lead. That's in jeopardy and, right here. And it's a toss. It's a handoff. And, and that's a touchdown. Yep, didn't even go to ground. By no. number five, Lucas Lemkul. Yeah, Lucas Lemkul. The he's been he's been doing double duty too. He was a great defensive player, and there he's going to touchdown. So. Oh man, they're they're spreading the wealth with the touchdowns now. Yeah. <laughs> so 14 to 19, Millbrook takes back the lead. That's the second time they've led tonight. That's their third touchdown of the evening, and they have 19 points. They'll go for a kick conversion it, it, probably. It actually looks like they're going for two. They're going trying to, go, to bring, go up by seven. Try to put themselves ahead. So yep, they're definitely going for two right now. All right, so this is the first time they've gone for this. They've gone for field goals Field usually. goals the last two. Here yeah. they won those two points. And hand off to hand five. Off and he won't get it. He's not getting anywhere so close. Ellen will keep them at 19. And I believe that was Jeff Nunez again. Which means that if Elmo gets a touchdown, they will retake the lead. It was Jeff Nunez with that tackle. Good tackle, right? Oh, man. If Elmo <laughs> gets a touchdown, they'll get six points. That'll put them at 20 to Millbrook's 19. So and hopefully they get that two-point conversion. They had the three-point lead. So Ellenville with 10 minutes, 10, 10 minutes, 25 seconds left here in the fourth quarter when we resume, has to get a touchdown to get back into this game and retake the lead. What a... What a game of football this, we this have. <laughs> this is a very close game. Yeah. Blue Devils certainly not rolling over and uh, they're not giving up. No. Definitely not. They are trying hard tonight. Poor Yellow wiping the mud off his boots. <laughs> All right, let's see what the return team can do. So it's going to be Ellenville kicking it. No? No. No, they're returning. Ellenville returns the ball. Milbrook yep. to, to kick it. Yep. All right, let's see how this goes. You never know how Millbrook's going to go. I've seen a squib kick. I've seen a high kick, and I've seen an onside kick all in this <laughs> half alone. So. <laughs> all right, and Millbrook going for the kick. It was a low kick, but bounces once. Oh, oh he lost control. He's going to get tackled oh, unless he, he runs wide. Oh, he's, oh, going he's for getting it. hit. Oh, oh, he, oh, he's still going. He skipped one. <laughs> skipped two. That was a great run right Imp there. Impressive right there. And that was number 33, who was not down on the roster, I don't see. No, he's not, so. <laughs> All right, let's see if the Blue Devils can score on this drive quick. They need the score on this drive. They cannot use a turnover right now. That, that would kill them right here. So it is first and 10 on their own 20. The, the, fan out, the fans out here are getting excited. Gary Gaeta gets the ball and is tackled after about a three-yard gain. All right. Or not. He was held back at the line. All right. Blue Devils break the huddle. The Blue Devils are really needing to get this first down. They cannot have any ill mistakes here. And that was, a, am guessing, a two-yard gain, three-yard gain. So it will be third and about six. <laughs> so I believe that was Gary Gaeta with the four-yard pickup. All right, and Ellenville is lined up to go, and it's 
A pass by Robert Borrello. He is going to run it. He is getting the first down, at least, it looks like. It looks like he could have just gotten the first down for the Blue Devils here. All right, I'm back, Kenny. Uh, it looks like the Blue Devils just got their first down they needed by Robert Borrello scrambling right. out of the pocket. 8.46 to go here. Ellen Bull has some work to do, but that's the right kind of sign there. Definitely. All right. Robert Borrello barely got it off the defender right there. All right, let's see if they can continue this movement downfield. And it was a counter, and it is stuffed at the line. Yep. Good defensive play by Millbrook. Really stopped down from going anywhere that time. Uh, I'm seeing that the pass is starting to work a little more than the run now. Yep. Yeah, it's interesting that they, uh, they are going for these passes more this half. We uh, didn't see too many in the first half. As you mentioned, it was more of a running game usually from Ellenville, but they've started to go, uh, well, occasionally with, with the throw, and it, it does really seem to catch Milbrook off guard because they're probably so used to the running play being made. The throws do work. Definitely. And Justin Rose, I don't think, has dropped the pass. He's Whatever was in his reach, he's had. And that was Gary Gaeta with a, about a three-yard pickup. And it's going to be third and about eight. So we've got about seven minutes, 45 seconds here. Ellenville down by five points. The, uh, say seven minutes, 40 seconds to get back on the scoreboard, which they have to do if they want to get their first win of the season here. Third down, eight yards to go. This is going to be a crucial down right here. They need to at least come within a yard of the first down. They got to get close. Oh, They're and it's another pass. Go for a throw and he's here. looking for Justin Rose, the but 14, he is might running have to run it. it. Oh. oh, and it's almost the first down. Yeah, it was a good run in the end. It's only about five, it's about three, four yards shy. Good, good run. It so, about a couple yards shy. That was a great run by Robert. Mm. And let's see, are they going to be able to? They really need to convert this fourth down right here. Yeah, this is going to be crit this is going to be critical. It's six minutes and fifty seconds on the clock, and on those fourth down, two the, yards to go, and the clock is still winding down. And this is uh, this is it for the Marbles here. They got to make these two yards with a throw or a rush. It's close enough to rush it, but they've been pretty good at blocking Ellenville's rushing. This is a crucial play right here. If they do not get this, then it and Both that start. is a. Offsides on Millbrook. On offside play. We, we all saw it. He leaned forward, took a step too far. So that's going to be five yards and a first down. Automatic first down. First oh, down. That is the break the Blue Devils need. Right <laughs> oh, there. man. That is great for the Blue Devils right and now. And the clock stops. Oh, man. What a game. This is going to come down to the wire. That's the kind of break the Blue Devils wanted. And we have 6.20 on the clock now. Looks like they made about eh, about one yard. Maybe about two. one. Oh. Yeah, about one. So they're just second and about nine. They're just, yeah, they're shy of the halfway line by about four, three, four yards. Four about, yards. Four. about four yards shy of the halfway line. In six minutes, and it's ticking. They're going to go they half the length of the field in six minutes on a second down now. Nine to go. You could def definitely feel the pressure right now. Now it's the oh, there goes Justin Rose. has it, Six and he has got makes a lot of yards. And a fumble recovered by Millbrook. And that's that not. hurts. That is definitely a dream crusher right there. Yep, that one's got to hurt now. Blue Devils riding high on adrenaline until that point, and now that looks like it might be a that that might. Okay. They, they're going to have to get a turnover they gotta get or the game could be over. Yeah, they've got to get that get, you're right, get, the, get that ball back or else it's game over, Ellenville. they got they got time, but only if they get that ball back. If Milbrook uh, goes down and scores, then that's almost certainly game over. Definitely. If they score, there's no chance of coming back with 
because I have a feeling they're going to wind down the clock as they go. There's number 10, and he's stopped in the backfield. Ellenville's really looking to get this and stop him right here. They do not need them to gain any more yards. With 5 minutes and 25 seconds left, the score is Ellenville 14, Millbrook 19. Give me Millbrook's second down. And it will be second and 12 for Millbrook. <laughs> All right. And they're going, it looks like they're going into the shotgun. It looks like it's probably going to be a pass. I don't see why they would want to pass, though. Yeah. Number 10 gets it on the outside. And oh, good he, spin. ooh, what a stick by Justin Rose. The 66 <laughs> sitting on the floor. He was expecting to get a hand to get helped up by Robert <laughs> Moriello. Who, oh, the 60. Who is He was the, number the, 65 uh, on Millbrook. Uh, uh, <laughs> who is. I thought he was waiting for his own teammate to give him a hand. Who was Davros Siari? That would be, uh, what's the number? 65. Yeah, Stavros Theahari, yeah. He was sitting there expecting Robert to help him up. <laughs> he had the arms stretched out and everything. <laughs> Haven't seen that one. No, Bariella has to, has to focus on getting his team ready. Yep, okay, so it's third and about six. All right, and the motion, and it's going to be a quick toss, and it's going in the middle, and it's not a first down. It's going to be fourth and about two. The real question is, will Millbrook punt, or will they go for the first down here? And it's fourth and three. <laughs> All right. And it looks like they could be bringing in the punt unit. A lot of people are coming in from Millbrook. Coach Connor reminding the team, watch the ball. Don't get off sides. Yep. So that was some good defense there from Ellenville to really to keep them in the, in this area. And the clock is still ticking the away. Yeah, the clock's never stopped, though. Three minutes has t have ticked off Four. since Millbrook has had it. Timeout. Timeout, Millbrook. So the clock will stop now at 317. Ellenville still down by five points, 14 to 19. And assuming Millbrook does kick this, Ellenville have will one have more time. Chance. They will have time for one go at this. They have one more shot at this if they kick, but it looks like they're probably thinking of a trick play. That, that's what I'm seeing right now. Yeah, because uh, I mean, that's part of what Milberg's thinking is if we do kick this, they're going to get it back, and they'll have about you know, just over three minutes to make their way down the field with timeouts left and you're, and you're running off the side to stop and, the clock. And they got to be careful not to kick it into the end zone because that would bring it out to the 20-yard line for the Blue Devils, giving yeah. them that's a little extra yards. Yeah, that would be quite a kick from here to get to the end zone, but you're right, they could do it. So we'll see what's going to happen All right, here. it looks like the punt team just went off. I'm seeing a few people. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, well, they've only got three yards to go. It's not – well, it's, they're on, run it right well, on the halfway line by minus five, so 45. On, on Ellenville's 45, and Millbrook may not be punting now. They have fourth down. They are going go. for it. They are definitely going for it right now. Ellenville's seen it, and they're starting to set up. Ellenville's got to stop this. This now is the make or break play of the game. Definitely. If they stop them here, they get good yards, and they don't have to start from down there. And – it's a dive, in it's, oh, and he's, oh, he's clean no. through number five. What a and great. that could be the game. That was a lovely play by Milbrook. That Milbrook's. could be the game. Yeah, he, uh, he managed to find his way through, and Elmville couldn't stop him, and he gained a lot of yards. Oh, man, this was a heartbreak game for the Blue Devils if they don't stop them right here. Yeah, they got it. And it looks like it's going to be a hard time to stop them right here. Yeah, they were first and ten. They were on, on Elmville's 34. A yard line, three minutes. The clock is not stopping, so just under three minutes now to go. It's not looking pretty. Ellenville's not only battling Millbrook right now, but they're battling the clock. And that one. That and takes. it's another dive up the middle for a. Oh, that number, oh man. Number five. He's been exceptional tonight for Millbrook. Yeah, that's another ten-yard gain. It's Lucas Limcool. Oh, we've said his name a number yeah, of times. He's been the bane of the Blue Devils this he's evening. He's got one touchdown. A lot of yards. Yeah. <laughs> his name will probably be in the paper tomorrow. Probably. <laughs> uh, I see Kyle Cumo going in there, too. Yep, he's been good. Two Gator's touchdowns, been good. a lot of passing yards. Yep. 
So clock has stopped for the moment. Two minutes 40 to go. Elmville. And it's going to start up now. No, it starts. Elmville oh, still, man. They still find themselves looking at the wrong side of a 14-19 score. And there's only two and a half minutes here in this fourth quarter. And, yeah, it's not looking pretty. Nope. Oh, man. They were so close. Yeah, they had really, really good chance. Took Had the lead twice in this game. And another dive up the middle for another 10 Almost 10 yard gain. That play, they obviously realized, hey, that worked. Try it again. It worked. Try it again. And until they, until that little stops it, you keep on trying that play. Yep, that coach is thinking, don't fix what's not broken. And referees <laughs> calling and waving their arms. Timeout, maybe Millbrook. Timeout, Ellenville. Timeout, Ellenville. Oh. So, Coach Boreal has two minutes to think of something but it's going to be well there's not going to be much they can do right nah, here well he's probably going to he, he he's now seen that play three times that Milbrook have ran and he's going to try to explain how to stop that play at least so they can't do any more damage with that play of course that'll that'll open up other plays <laughs> so it's uh, going to be a to be a coach of football oh man it's <laughs> it's a tough job definitely when, is when you win it looks easy when you lose it, it yeah looks, looks, it looks tough <laughs> definitely I remember being on the wrong side of the same situation last year against New Paltz. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was a heartbreaker. Yeah. We lost by a touchdown in the section semifinals. Well, today will be heartbreak because the Blue Devils were really looking to get their first victory today, and they twice, well, they took, they took the opening lead, then they were pegged back, then they took the lead again, yep. then they were pegged back again to where we are right now with 19 to 14. So they were within a touchdown of uh, of getting the lead, but with two minutes to go, it's uh, Millbrook's ball, second down with two to go. It doesn't look too promising I right mean, now. Only two minutes to go here. It does not look promising for the Blue Devils. Unless there is a huge mess up <laughs> by Millbrook and they fumble it. And that's why you play, because these things can yeah, happen. Yeah, anything gotta, can happen on this field. you got to believe if you're a player. Definitely. You can't give up until the coach says, all right, now you can stop. <laughs> <laughs> until you hear that final whistle. Right. You got to keep battling. So Ellenville has to pray for a miracle here. Definitely. And two minutes, six seconds. Second and two. And it's another dive, and it looks like it's a first down. About a four-yard pickup. Yeah, they only had two to get, so they will get that first down. It is, And it's a two-minute warning, I believe. No. Nope. Oh, no, never mind. Scoreboard man says no. Timeout, Ellenville. Timeout, though. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, man. This does not look promising. I believe Ellenville only has one timeout left. So Millbrook only has to run the clock out now. That. That's all they need to do. Run the ball. Don't no, – any – no reckless plays. Can you take the knee and that wastes one down? Yes. And how, many, how much time does that waste? It – Key, it, the clock just keeps running. If you take the knee? If you take a knee, the clock runs. And how long do you have to get the next play going? Uh, I believe it was 25, 25 seconds. So if they're on first down, if they were t to run four of those, that would be not quite two minutes. Be close, though. That would only be 20 seconds shy. But Ellenville still, have, still has the timeout, so they could stop that right in the spot right there. Right. But only stop it once. Yeah, only once. And they can do it four times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they'll be able to do it three full times. Yeah. So the Blue Devils looking looking for something here. Probably not going to come their way. They played well today. They definitely did. It's been a good performance. They 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 didn't get you know wiped out or annihilated here. They they've they've gone toe to toe with Millbrook and it looks like they're going to come out just short. Just short. Sad to say. And it. Another dive up the middle, oh. and it looks like it could be a first down. It's close to the end zone. It's really close. It looks like it could have almost ran for a touchdown. It's about less than a yard shy, it looks like, from here. So it's first and goal? Yes, it is. Well, no, it probably second is. Second and goal. Second and one. Second and about one, I see. And the clock is ticking. Yep, and it's going and going and going. <laughs> And that victory that Ellenville craved so dear was, so, was within grasp, yeah. but it just gets further and further away with every second that goes. Yep. All right, and are they fumble? 
and is recovered by Millbrook in the end zone, and it's a touchdown, Millbrook. And that is your game right there. That Touch yeah, there's there's not much that can happen. Now touchdown to Millbrook. They will get six points. That puts it to 14-25 with a minute 16 to go. And sadly, it's looking like game over Elmville. Yep, you can see the heads already starting to go down on the sideline. Yep, they might as well start thinking about what they're going to do after the game now. And I, I'm seeing uh, Robert Borriello starting to get angry out there, so maybe he's thinking maybe there's something they can do. <laughs> <laughs> well, they'll only have to go down the field twice. Yeah, so. in, in a minute and 16. Well, less than, <laughs> less than a minute and 16 after they've played this play. Oh, man. let's may, You never know. If they score on the kick return and then an onside kick, any, anything can happen in this yep. game. <laughs> I'm going to guess in the history of football, come back to the minute 16 to go when you're down are by nine. Are very slim. Are very and slim. And they take a knee. <laughs> no, he's going to run for the punt. It's going to be a, a knee. field goal. And goes for the kick. And it's – Oh, oh it clangs <laughs> off. Oh, man. You rarely see that. <laughs> so denied, but they won't really mind. Well, that per, that player will, will mind because his stats will not get better <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah, his but, stats are going down. <laughs> but uh, the, the, the coach will not mind too much as he knows they've got this game in the bag now. Yep. They have an 11-point lead, so it, it's all but over right now. Almost got to go down the field or receive, go and score, then kick off, get the ball, get back, the ball back, and, and then score, score again. <laughs> uh, it doesn't look too promising no, right now. It's, it's sad when you look at, look at it that way because they're probably not going to get there. Yeah. Borrello is getting ready to come back on. Uh, he, I still think he's going to fight like he still has a chance, though. He's, yeah. This Blue Devil team has a lot of pride. That's what you got to do. you got to play like you can come back, even if you're down by the heaviest of uh, deficits. Definitely. you got to show that drive and that will to win, even if you know it's impossible. If you show that belief, then you know that can come back in later games. Uh, I'm not too sure, but I don't think the Ellenville Blue Devils are making it in the playoffs this year. No, it's not looking good. It doesn't it? look likely. No, this is going to be a five. Five straight losses. I do not think they're going to make it into the playoffs this year. No. They'd have to hope for some crazy other results. <laughs> and, and, and they'd have to pretty much win every single game from here on in, which yeah. right now doesn't look that likely. But they've, today's been a good showing, though. Yeah, they've so it shows that they're starting to learn a little more. Yeah, they've gotten a the couple. The more experience they get, the better they're starting to get. So yeah, They got a couple of scores today, which is good. That'll do, give some confidence to the team. All but right, let's see what they can do here. No, and it's an uh, uh, onside kick. And is it? Oh, ooh, it, that was a little close. <laughs> almost took a knee to the head there. Oh, that would have hurt. 25 of Ellenville with and the receive. That would be Tyler Albert. Tyler Albert. That, that was a bold play, the jump up, hands up. Yeah, it was like a very low kick that was bobbling, then it bounced up really high over the heads of two players. I and think then over Preston Bazemore. He had his hands on it, yeah. almost. And then Albert just slid Jumped in, <laughs> took the ball, and literally had to had to dive down to the ground in order to avoid getting clocked by the <laughs> <laughs> That was really close the to the oncoming Millbrook player. But so good, Millbrook was trying to get the ball back there for some reason, just to take a knee. Yeah. So Ellenville will have the ball? Uh, yes, they will. Uh, At the 45, on their own 45. On their own 45. A minute well, 15. If they could get a, a score. Hail Mary maybe would, uh, could help. It might, <laughs> it, yeah. It might not, uh, they might not be able to come back to win this game. They could maybe get one more score just to do their own. So it put a little, boost them a little bit yeah, more. That, so it's not, not as bad a defeat. Yeah. And get that Blue Devil pride. Get that going again. But you're right. It's probably not going to be. Doable at this stage, but they no. still have. Oh man, I see a new guy out there. Number five, Mark Candelario. Uh -huh. I believe he's six foot eight. Uh, he looks like he's lining up to be a, a wide, wide receiver. receiver. So I see uh, maybe they're going long. They go for a th well. What else can they do? They have to score <laughs> quick, so they go score on this first down and get it back. They and can always catch it and run out of bounds, stop the clock, and keep going that yeah. way. But and Candelario is off. All number right, five. and number five, and he's going. It's overshot, and it's an. Oh, almost an interception. Incomplete pass. Number 25 drops it uh, from Millbrook, and that is Sean Battenfeld. So oh, he almost he almost caught that pass. They so. went for it. We, uh, you were right. You were good, good to spot him coming on there, Kenny, because you're like, hey, who's this guy on the field? <laughs> oh, they they, they're saving him for, like, pressure situations like these. Yep, extreme plays. 
And yep, he's going back out again. Yeah, on the far side, you have the number 10, it looks like. Uh, Kyle Connor and Justin Rose and over there. Five and goes again. Boreo looks for oh, him. He's going to get Oh, and it's sacked. not going to work. Oh, and it's a fumble, it looks like. Could it have? Nope, they're calling it down. They're calling it down. So that's a sack and about a loss of two. And the clock is ticking away. 54 seconds left. It's all but over now. Yeah. What a shame, but a good game. And game. Mark Candelario is out, so. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's enough of the experiment right there. Well, they tried it twice. Neither one worked. Yeah, because when, when you see a six foot eight guy, you, you pretty much know it's going to probably go to him. All right. Said the number nine, though, is lining up for, to be I a, don't know a who number nine is. a low throw. Number nine is Throws Kareem the, Jackson. 39. Num gets tackled. Gary Gaeta runs for two yards to probably end the game. Yeah, time is ticking away here. Yep, 17. and they are going to end the game on this note most likely. All oh, right. wait, never mind. They're calling a timeout. Timeout Ellenville. That that's a little confusing. Uh, I didn't. I don't think. It's ha well, I guess <laughs> the only thing to think about it is maybe they're using this as a game situation to give some practice to the players. Yeah, you know? they probably brought in some players that usually don't play. I think it's a bad sign when you see the coaches from upstairs. They're leaving, <laughs> <laughs> so the game is done as far as these guys are concerned. Yep, they're, <laughs> they're going to start go packing up. Yep, start <laughs> warm the engine up. <laughs> start the bus. But uh, yeah, you're right. It's almost surprising to see Connor call a timeout to give some instructions to his Blue Devils with only 14 seconds to go on a fourth yeah. down. However, like I said, it's probably just for exactly that. He, he, he wants to try to have them. Millbrook's making sure there's no score, so they got three deep. Got, so they're yeah. making sure no one is scoring right now. But, uh, four deep, four deep. But this is obviously the best kind of practice you can ever ever give your guys is, that is game time, game experience. So they're going to try, obviously, a play or something here. And Candelario's back in with yeah. Kareem Jackson and So they have Kyle three, three runners on this left side. So they're going to obviously get a Oh, man. And only one defender. And then, <laughs> but they've got three guys deep. Four. Number two. Oh, and yellow. Kendall. Oh, this does not look good for Robert. He's got to throw it. There and is the throw. And it's a pick. Oh, and, oh, and another drop. That is not oh, a good. <laughs> and the 39 gets upset with the other 39. <laughs> <laughs> and that's game right and there. And that will be the game. Oh, man. What a tough loss for the Blue Devils. Yeah, but a good game in the end, but not a good result for the Animal Blue Devils. They had numerous chances, but they just couldn't pull through. Yep, so your final score is Elmville 14, Millbrook 25, and the Blue Devils will go into this now with a 5-0 and zero record. So 0-5, oh 0-5. Oh 0-5, I should say. So, uh, and we see the handshakes right there between the two sets of teams. Yep, uh, I remember being on the losing side of this one. <laughs> yeah, it, it doesn't feel it too good. Hurts. doesn't feel too good. And you always got to be careful because they might talk to you and try to get you to... <laughs> to psych you yeah, out. Try yeah, try to taunt you, and then you'll get angry. That's what we were always told. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining me in the commentary booth, no Kenny. Problem. I hope to see you again up here. And that does it for us. So thanks for watching this on Channel 20. We'll see you next time.